Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to optimize the new game Wu Chang Fallen Feathers. I've seen this game get a lot of hate recently on Steam for the unoptimized performance of it, and it really sucks to see because this game really is beautiful. It has amazing gameplay, amazing combat, and a lot of people just can't enjoy it because the performance is so bad. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to optimize it. That way you can sit down and enjoy the game, play it at a solid frame rate, you don't have to worry about stuttering, crashing, anything like that. I don't want to waste any more of your time. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. The first thing you're going to want to do is go into your in-game settings. Go ahead and come over here. And then go down to graphic settings. Go ahead and click into this. I'm going to go over a few things I've seen people complain about as well. Not only just the stuttering and crashing. One thing I've seen people complain about is that the game looks really blurry. For some reason, if you're on 1440p, the resolution here may automatically set to 1920 by 1080. So just make sure you set this to 1440p. That way you're actually playing at your monitor's resolution. If you are on a 1440p monitor, same thing applies for 4K. So if your game for some reason just looks really blurry, then this is probably going to be why. The next thing we're going to want to do is go to overall quality. If you're on a high-end PC, like for example, like a 9800X3D or 7800X3D on a 40 series or 50 series graphics card. What I'd recommend doing is just bumping this up to extreme or ultra. You're going to be able to run that just fine. If you have a high-end PC after the settings we apply, you're not going to have stutters. You're not going to have crashes. So you're good to go. If you're on a low to mid PC, I'd recommend sticking to mid or low. And we're going to go over the best settings for you guys as well. We are going to customize this preset a little bit, but just to save us some time, we're going to go ahead and do this. Again, we're going to make sure you guys aren't going to have any stutters regardless. So I'm on a high-end PC. I want my game to look really good. So I'm going to go ahead and click extreme. Motion blur doesn't really affect fps but i'd recommend you guys having this off depth of field for you guys on a high-end pc like a 9800 x3 5080 you know just newer specs in general 40 series i'd say probably 13th and 14th gen intels as well Go ahead and bump this up to high. If you're not on a high-end PC, I'd go ahead and just recommend setting this to off no matter what. That is going to help your performance a lot. For you guys on lower-end PCs, having this off is going to affect your performance a lot. But if you're on a higher-end PC, having it on high isn't really going to affect it that much, but it will make it look a little bit better. The next thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and go to advanced graphic settings. Now, a lot of this is really going to depend on your setup here. These are the settings that I have on a 50 series because I can take advantage of the DLSS frame generation. I can get a stable about 300 FPS with no stutters running these settings with my PC. I'm going to scroll through them really quick for you guys on a high-end PC and you're still having issues. Just copy these settings. Of course, we're going to go over way more things on the Windows side. That'll stop your stuttering. So you guys on higher-end PCs, just copy this. Now, for you guys on lower-end PCs or if you don't have a 50 series card, what I'd recommend doing, I'll go ahead and turn DLSS frame generation off because you guys won't have that. So what I'd recommend doing for everyone else, I'd still recommend turning over sampling resolution to 100 if your PC can do that. The game is actually kind of bugged, and even if you put it down to 99, it actually makes the game look way blurrier. So that's why we're going to keep it at 100 right now. I'm hoping they fix this, but this is another reason why people say their game just looks really blurry. And I just wanted to point that out. So if your main issue is just the game being blurry, even if you're not having stutters, just crank this up to 100 and that'll fix your issue. However, if this does just butcher your performance if you're on a lower end PC, I'd recommend just turning this down in increments of 20. So for example, if I try to 100, and that was just really bad for me then what i do next is try 80 move around play around with that see if it's better for me if that doesn't go ahead and try 60 and then just go from there i would recommend keeping the super resolution over sampling to dlss i've tested with fsr and personally i didn't have great experience with it the anti-aliasing quality i'd recommend setting to mid again these settings are for you guys on mid to lower end pcs Sharpening, I'd always just keep at 5. Post-processing, I'd set this to low. Shadow quality, again, I'd set this to low. Effects quality, I'd set to mid. Viewing distance, mid. Texture quality, mid. Vegetation quality, I'd go ahead and set this to low. This is a huge thing, which is affecting FPS right now in this game. Volumetric fog, I'd set this to low. Global illumination, mid. This ambient setting, I'd go ahead and set to low. Reflection quality, another huge one that's affecting FPS. Set this to low. And then once you have that set, then you're good for the actual in-game settings. Again, I'm actually just going to go ahead and set everything back since I'm on a high end PC. And what we do next is gonna keep us from stuttering or crashing anyway. I'm just gonna crank this stuff all the way back up. So then once you get your settings how you like them, whether you're on a high end PC, low end PC, mid PC, you can go ahead and go back, save it. I wouldn't really test out in the game too much right now because we are gonna do a lot more changes here in a second. So go ahead and exit the game fully. Just go ahead and come down here and quit game and then confirm. Let it close all the way. So the next things we're going to do is all Windows related. New games like Wu Chang really need an optimized Windows to run good. If you guys want to get on my custom OS, which is pre-optimized, you can visit my website, signs.net, where I do everything for you. The link will be in the description. And that way you have full peace of mind. You have the maximum amount of FPS your computer can have and the lowest amount of delay in every single game. But I am going to go over some basic things in here just to guarantee you guys don't have any more stutters, any more issues in the game. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and type in graphic settings here in the bottom left. Enter on this. 
change default graphic settings. Hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is one of the biggest things that can cause FPS stutters in games. If you're on a 50 series, the main selling point of 50 series card is to have frame gen and DLSS4 compatibility. To have that, you do need to have this on. However, if you're not on a 50 series and you're experiencing crazy crashes, crazy stuttering, I'd recommend trying the opposite setting of whatever this is on. So for example, if hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is on for you right now, go ahead and turn it off. Vice versa, if it's off right now, go ahead and turn it on. The setting can vary per system, so it's important to test each one and see which setting makes the game run the best for you. For everybody though, I would recommend optimization for Windows games is on. Wu Chang doesn't have a true full screen option, so it is running in Windows Borderless, so this option will affect it a little bit. The next thing we're going to want to do is optimize our NVIDIA control panel. Again, this is a massive thing which could be causing your FPS stutters. The first and most important thing you want to do is go over to adjust image settings with preview and make sure you use the advanced 3D image settings as clicked here. We do not want it to let the 3D application decide. That's going to butcher your FPS. Then go over to manage 3D settings here and then copy the settings I have here. So all these top ones, just set this to off. Background application max frame rate off. CUDA GPUs all. CUDA system fallback policy. Driver default. DSR factors off. The latency mode on. One thing I will point out, if you go to task manager, you go to performance and then GPU. While you're playing the game, if your GPU says 100%, experiment with turning low latency mode to ultra. In a lot of cases, if your GPU is at 99% or more, changing this to ultra is better. However, if your GPU is not at 100%, just keep this on and you'll be good to go. The next thing you want to do is change max frame rate to off, monitor technology to fixed refresh, multi-frame sampled AA, MFAA, turn this off, open GDI compatibility, make sure this is on auto, open GL rendering GPU, set this to your GPU, Power management mode, prefer maximum performance, preferred refresh rate, highest available. Jitter cache, you just want to make sure this is on unlimited. This is another big setting people are overlooking in this game right now. Wu Chang has a very big shader cache, and a lot of the times this is set to driver default, or some people even set a custom shader cache, like only five gigabytes. Wu Chang is going to eat up your shader cache like crazy. You want this to be at unlimited, or if you do want to set a manual one for some reason, set this to 100 gigabytes. Obviously, it's not going to take up 100 gigabytes, but you just want to give it enough breathing room so it's not full. Or close to being full. This is another big thing I've been seeing people have been overlooking in this game and causing a lot of their FPS drops. And again, just keep copying the settings here. So these texture filtering ones will do off, allow, high performance, and then on. Threaded optimization, just set this to auto, triple buffering off, vertical sync off, and then these ones are one off auto. The next thing you're going to want to do is go to configure surround physics. Make sure this is set to your GPU. Even if you have a very low end GPU, make sure it's set to this. And then go to adjust desktop size and position. And then make sure the monitor you're playing the game on is set to no scaling. Once you're done with that, you're good to go to the NVIDIA control panel. The next thing we're going to want to do is optimize our Steam settings. So I'm sure you guys are very aware of this by now, but Steam is a very horrible launcher for performance. It's actually crazy how little they care about performance and delay. So we're going to go ahead and optimize it now. The first thing we're going to want to do is go to Steam and then click settings here. Once you're in settings, come over here to interface go ahead and copy the settings i have here you want to make sure all of these are off and then go over to library make sure low bandwidth mode is on low performance mode is on and then copy the settings this is an important one go to downloads scroll all the way down and then shader pre-caching we want to make sure these two boxes are checked enable shader pre-caching and allow background processing of volcan shaders we want to make sure these two boxes are checked here the next thing you're going to want to do is go to in game and then we want to make sure enable the steam overlay while in game is actually unchecked the next thing you're going to want to do is go to game recording make sure recording is set to off and then go to remote play and make sure remote play is turned off as well once you've done these settings you will need to fully close out of steam and relaunch it for to apply those settings so come down here right click and click exit steam and then we'll relaunch steam in a second the next thing we're going to want to do is make sure we're on a good power plan go ahead and type in edit power plan here i'm on my custom power plan i've actually given this power plan away for free in my discord link in the description this is the same power plan I'm using in my $100 ultimate service. If you guys want to get on this power plan, again, it's in my Discord for completely free. But at the bare minimum, go to power options and make sure your selected power plan is either high performance or ultimate performance or a custom power plan like mine. The main thing is you really want to make sure you're not on power saving or a balanced power plan. That's going to destroy your FPS. You really want to make sure at the minimum you're on high performance or ultimate performance or preferably a custom power plan like mine. The last couple things we're going to do is one, disable HPET, which is high precision event timer. Go to the Device manager, expand this a little bit, scroll down to system devices here. You're going to expand this and then find high precision event timer and make sure this is disabled. All you have to do is right click it and then click disable device. So I just enabled it. 
Let us go here, click disable device and click yes. HPET is a legacy timer, it's not really used anymore. And sometimes Windows will call on this and that's exactly what's gonna cause your FPS stutters. So if we just disable it and stop Windows from calling on it, then we don't have to worry about that causing our stutters. Once we're done with that, the last thing we wanna check is our available space in our computer. So go ahead and open up File Explorer and go to this PC. We wanna make sure our drives aren't in the red here. So whatever drive the game and your OS is installed on, we wanna make sure this is blue and not red. If your drive is pretty much almost full, that's exactly what's gonna be causing your stutters. So just make sure that this is blue and not red. You want your drive to have at least 80% of space left. Once a drive has 20% or less storage, all kinds of random issues start coming up, especially with gaming. So I'd recommend having like 30% or more free space just to have a safe range. Other than that though, guys, be sure to restart your computer after you apply these changes. That's all I have for you guys today. Let me know in the comments how it worked for you guys. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments as well. I'll be happy to respond to you guys. If you guys have any video requests, leave a comment. If this video did help you, leave a like. I also have way more optimization videos on my YouTube channel if you're interested in that. And like I mentioned earlier, I do everything for you in my service. Just visit my website signs.net where you can get on my custom os i optimize everything for you mouse keyboard network and then that way you have full peace of mind knowing you have the literal best optimizations on the planet and that your computer is running at its maximum potential other than that though hope you guys have a great rest of your day peace